Okay, guys. Uh, now my opponent has a, a knee shield here to keep uh, some distance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the hand under his leg and kill his like bottom leg, or I'm gonna get my hand to help me bring his knees together, or I'm gonna use my shoulder while I have a grip on his collar. Okay, that's the best way, using the shoulder. So now the hand that I have on his collar is important to bring him towards me, create some traction here. I'm just gonna just hold the collar. I'm just gonna hold and bring it towards me. My head will be bothering his head, okay? Pushing his head. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on my leg now. Um, my leg will gonna kill his hook. So I'm gonna raise my calf and move my leg, killing his hook, okay? Now I'm just gonna keep walking and the bottom leg I'm gonna move to the other side. His bottom leg, I wanna keep his bottom leg straight, okay? And then I keep moving to the side until I pass the guard. So here, I'm already gonna have the hand under his leg, make the grip on his bottom leg, use my shoulder. If I don't can the shoulder, use my hand, grip on his collar. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean a little bit to the side and now use my leg to kill his hook. And I'm going to keep passing, keep to the side. The bottom leg, I want to keep it straight. If you have a, a problem uh, getting the, the, the hook over, the first hook, the guy is very strong, his leg, I cannot uh, move my hook. I'm going to use the opposite hook here. I'm going to use the other one that is free, but I have to be attached to him to show the pressure. So I'm just going to switch later and keep moving and doing the same position. Okay, it's very important this position when I'm passing. Always pushing the, the mat with my legs. I'm gonna use a lot of traction with my foot against the mat. Okay. So I'm not gonna do the position like this because I'm not heavy enough on top of him. I'm gonna keep using the traction so I can be heavier they will be much more heavy when I use the traction and then he's in a bad spot okay guys let's uh, start showing some uh, submissions here from the 100 kilos so I'm gonna open up his lapel and uh, give it to my other hand that is hugging his head so the important thing here is not get very tight grip I'm gonna get a little loose okay so now the hand that was having the underhook is gonna go all the way to the other side blocking his hip so if I grip is, is too tight it will uh, create a problem here when I rotate to the other side so that hand that's holding the lapel has to be a little bit loose okay now it's gonna wanna come all the way to the other side. And now I can take the hand out of his hip. Now the hand is gonna grab the same lapel or uh, some cloth, you know. Just get a grip and I'm gonna come back towards the north south. So okay, I'm here with the grip little bit loose, my hand go blocking his hip on the other side, my left hand. So I'm gonna come all the way to the other side of the 100 kilos. Now my left hand will make a grip 
on the same lapel or I can just grab a piece of cloth here and a piece of cloth so and then I come back towards the north south so now I'm gonna do a little variation here I'm gonna open the lapel give it to my hand now I give to the other hand I'm gonna be very close to him very tight I'm get the knee on the belly as soon as I get the knee on the belly my head will get four fingers grip on his collar and then I'm gonna start rotating the only important thing here it keeps my elbows closed okay I always uh, try to get my elbows closed and then I'm gonna come back to the north south so I'm here I get past the lapel I'm very close to him knee on the belly four fingers in grip and I'm gonna start going to the north south until he taps so I'm here I open the lapel give it to the other hand I'm, I'm very tight here shoulder in his face now I go knee on the belly Get the base, got the leg, four fingers in, grip. And now it's very important when I'm gonna get the choke. I always get my elbows close to each other. My elbows need to be almost touching each other. So I'm gonna get my elbows close to each other and then I'm gonna go walk towards north south. A lot of pressure on his neck.